Oh my god. What am I doing? Uh, hi, good morning. It's literally 5.30 right now. I just dropped my friend off at the airport and I'm about to go back to bed. Good night. I'm eating my breakfast while adding the links to all of the makeup products that I used in my video that's going up later today. I filmed an answering questions I've been avoiding and I'm so excited to post it, but of course, gotta link everything that I used. So that is this morning's task. I just got off my period, but whenever I am on it, this is my favorite go-to. It's like really good for hormone balancing. But other than that, the daily lineup has currently been looking like this. My JS Health hair pills are downstairs, so I have to get those, but this is like a daily probiotic. And then I take a cranberry pill because, you know, good for urinary tract health. I found a little picnic table that I'm gonna sit and eat my granola bar at because I'm starving and don't wanna pass out, obviously. This has been my favorite. Also, there's literally a guy power washing over there. I don't mind that. This has been my favorite protein bar. It's the Lemon Cake Pure Protein. Love doing my walks every day. I also like to switch it up. Some days I'll do Greenbelt. Some days I'll walk through campus. Um, other days I'll stay closer to my house. It kind of just depends. But today I kind of did like a very, very long dragged out walk from place to place. Gotta stay fueled, obviously. Mm -mm -mm. One of my girlfriends is coming over today, kind of around evening time, and we're gonna do like a little pasta dish with meat sauce and just have a fun little sleepover. I'm really excited about it. The worst part is when you get to the end of the granola bar and there's no more left. <laughs> We're gonna do a quick little workout. I think I'm just gonna kind of take it easy today. Might do like a core circuit, a little bit of glutes, but I really, really love my gym because there's an all women's room. So you don't have to feel obligated to go like in the center floor. Yeah, I'm just gonna do some abs in here really quick. First thing I like to do is always get in a good stretch. It's important that you do that so you don't tear any muscles or anything. Oh my gosh, I'm actually sweating so bad right now. Just finished my workout. Now I'm gonna head home, eat some leftover meal prep from last night because it's 1.40 and that protein bar could not just be my whole lunch. So I'm gonna go eat lunch at home. Maybe we'll do some work. I'm not really sure if there's anything else I have to do. I'm gonna take a look at my planner though and see what else is on the agenda today. But absolute 10 out of 10 workout. I ended up going to the first floor where all the equipment and machines are. Holy cow, being gym shy is like a real thing. I feel like whenever I'm with my girlfriends and they put me through a really hard workout, I'm not nervous at all. But being by myself, I kind of am a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I need to take this jacket off right now. I'm like sweating so bad. You already know I'm about to eat this chicken with some Chick-fil-A sauce. So glad that they started selling this by the bottle because every single time I go to Chick-fil-A, I inhale like two of them and it's, I don't wanna talk about it. Yeah, I'm so excited. This chicken that I made last night, so freaking good. It's about to be amazing with this sauce. My go-to seasoning whenever I marinate chicken is always garlic salt. And then I have this like lemon pepper little rub and then just black pepper and that's literally it. I'm about to devour this. Just finished filming a brand deal for Dick's Sporting Goods. My pants are literally like parachutes right now. So it's making so much noise. Yeah, basically I filmed like a little lookbook, TikTok and Instagram reel for them. There's two rounds. I just filmed the first one right now. Three people muscle tank, 
free people pants hokas and then this windbreaker i just love the fit so much i never shared this but i went antique shopping the other day in eagle idaho which is just a couple towns over from boise and i got this adorable ceramic angel gorgeous and i want to hang it up somewhere above my vanity i have this whole vision that i want to do i want to add a whiteboard a picture frame obviously this little angel and just kind of decorate it around the vanity for dinner today this is what's on the menu i'm going to make some rigatoni pasta with ground beef and then this tomato basil homemade sauce i feel like a hip-hop dancer in this outfit right now and i probably am gonna have to put something over this when i'm using the sauce because i don't want to spill all over myself anyways first things first we're gonna brown the meat lex is on her way right now she should be here probably in like 10 minutes we're gonna do a movie night as well the cover is on Dinner. This is the finished dinner. Dude, I'm so excited. <laughs> For dessert, Lex brought Trader Joe's Gone Bananas. I've never had these before, and Lex has never had True Fruit, so we're gonna do like a whole taste test. We're both trying each thing. It's gonna be so good. Okay, we're gonna enjoy dinner now, but yeah, that's my cooking segment. And I didn't even spill any red sauce on my shirt, so I didn't really need to put this one on, but you never know. So we inhaled the pasta a it little so too good. fast. Lex is gonna try true fruit today. Haro is trying gone banana. She always hypes these up and they're says so that good. they're amazing. Oh, they are so good. Do you want to open it? Let me get scissors. Scissors! Cheers! Cheers. Ooh, wait, that is so good. Oh my gosh, these are so much softer than those ones. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm like, ascended. Okay, Um, I literally give this a 10. 10 out of 10. I'm glad that these ones aren't super frozen. If you let them sit out longer too, they get like real good. I like the fact that they're softer. These are hot girl summer snacks, strawberry ones too. Oh. Okay, we're gonna be on our grind mode right now. Lex is doing school because she's studious AF and I have so much editing to do. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna watch a little movie tonight. Well, hot girl walk. We're going it a stays late walk. so, or stays light so late. They get literally, the sun sets at nine. Hi okay. from Ann Morrison Park. We're doing a little evening walk. We ended up in the dog park. Comment down below if you're a dog person or a cat person. Dog. Team dog. I'm allergic to cats. This guy told us to literally fetch his frisbee in the water. I said not today. Yeah, Today's I think he not was, the day. Don't ask he was trying to be a little flirty, but it didn't really come off that way. We respectfully said no. <laughs> Wrong girlies. Wrong girlies to hit up in the park. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy the walk. It feels so good. <laughs> We ran into the people that we saw. They actually ended up being cool. They were nice. And I played frisbee golf with them or whatever it's called. Is it frisbee golf? I think that's frisbee golf. I don't know what it's called, but it's like frisbee butt golf. I hit one of their friends on accident. So hopefully I really don't get in. Really get in. Really get in. Hopefully there's no papers at my door. Yeah, no, we're gonna head back home. We've got some plans for the rest of the night and it's already nine o'clock, so. Somehow, look how light it is. Also. I hopped in the shower really quick and washed my hair and now I'm all clean. I've had this shirt for so many years and I swear it's like the best pajama shirt. Little PJ shorts from Aritzia. Retainers are also in. Lex is upstairs and I think we're gonna get a movie now. Okay, I'm in such a good mood right now. Lex is gonna drive separately. We're gonna go on a little walk on the green belt. So we're gonna drive to Julia Davis Park right now first. We're gonna get some rise and grind, protein shakes, aloe shots, all the good stuff. Can't wait. Hopefully the owner's there because he and I are tight. Love him to death. See you there. Guys, Post Malone's new album is so, so good. Favorite song on it is Chemical. It's a cute little love, happy, just bubbly song. Okay, I parked here. I'm waiting for Lex. Maybe I was speeding. Side note, I did order this car freshener off of Etsy and the scent is milk and cereal. It smells like literal Fruit Loops. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna re-pour the scent really quick though because it smells so good. And I love it because it has this little honeycomb cap. All you do is take off the little stopper, screw this on, tilt it upside out, and then put the stopper back in. And it smells amazing. We made it to Rise and Grind. My dumb self forgot my punch card. It's great. Okay. First you choose cranberry or aloe shot. Mango or cranberry. 
I'm gonna do birthday cake. That sounds so good. Exactly, exactly. You got a whole seven days out? Guys, we got our little drink. Also, so good. wait, what was the girl's name? Did we ever ask oh, her? I didn't ask for her name. But I asked for her whole life story. Yeah, we had a really good chat with the girl working today. She was so, so sweet. So nice. Gave us lots of life advice because we're majoring and minoring and basically the same thing. I got birthday cake. What'd you I get? Got, I think I got white chocolate latte or something like that. I don't know. I, I wanted coffee. Okay, we're going to go to bar class now. just got home from bar class it was seriously so so good the instructor was just so bubbly and you can tell that when an instructor really likes what they're teaching the whole class just feels it and picks up on it she was amazing so i definitely want to take that bar class again because i did bar all last year during my freshman year of college and that was just so much fun anyways i have a package from mario badescu it just arrived at my door and i'm gonna open it i was actually just talking about toner this morning before before Lex and I left my house. I was like, what does toner even do? Like, does it actually work? Are you supposed to do it at night, in the morning? And so this says, apply it with a cotton pad. It leaves your skin moisturized and plump and you're supposed to put it on after cleanser. Thank you, Mario Badescu. You watch Pokemon TV at home here in Idaho? I don't watch it, but I used to play with it. How are you doing, Caroline? <laughs> I'm doing so good, Nick. Just by yourself in Idaho? Just by myself. Catherine's home, Washington, D.C. Yep. Remember last January, Caroline? Yes. And remember why we were out there? Well, we, where we go last January, Caroline? We were out there for Grandma's funeral. When Grandma's Benoit's funeral, she passed away, she died? Yeah, she did. No more Grandma Benoit. No more. Bye, Caroline. I love you. Just finished journaling outside. I just love my little balcony. There's one above me, which is where I sit a lot of the times with my friends. We have dinner and kind of cook. But this second one, I kind of forgot about a little bit and it's just so peaceful. And it's now been my go-to journaling spot all summer long. <laughs> 